Hi ho everybody. Today we're, we're going back to the basics. Literally. I've got some old trash bases here I'm not going to use. Um, I've been asked to go back to an old project which is making our own texture paste. So we're going to do a smooth snow texture paste and we're going to make a rough textured sand texture paste. We'll uh, apply it to these two old Necron bases. And then uh, we, we might do something a little bigger and a little more special. We'll see how long y'all guys want to sit around. Uh, almost all the products will exclusively be from the Dollar Tree. Uh, I just swung by there. I picked up paint. This was the brand that was just at my Dollar Tree. I've never used it before, but it is a water-based acrylic paint, which says, hey, hey, I'm totally fine to be used with PVA glue. So, let's get started. Normally when I do this, what I use is a Ziploc bag. It really depends on how much of it I want to make. Uh, the best thing about this is, this product will last. Um, if you put it in little containers, it will literally last for years down the road. I think I have some sitting on a shelf that's about five years old now. Uh, as long as you put it in an air sealed container, this texture paste will outlive Citadel texture paste any day of the week. Um, the way this came about was back in the day we didn't have things like texture paste and then Citadel came along and gave us some and Needless to say, I thought it was overpriced and refused to buy it, so I figured out how to make it on my own. Um, little sand. Color doesn't matter. It could be blue, purple, whatever. A little bit of baking soda. Doesn't matter. Blue, purple, whatever. These colors, solely based on what you want your texture paste color to be. Um, it does act like a bonding agent, but it takes out the shine of the PVA glue. Um, let's see here. Hmm. A bunch of practice spoons. Never go wrong trying to paint on sprue. Well, sprue, plastic spoons, magic cards. You know, whatever's laying around. Old junk like Jill Lotus. Okay. I'm not going to be making a large amount of paste today just for the simple fact that I already have some. So instead of using my Ziploc bag method where I mix it in the bag, which is a lot easier to do than mixing it in a container. Uh, once it's mixed in the bag, I just cut the corner off the end of the bag and I squeeze it out like cake icing. And then I fold that plastic over and tape it shut. <laughs> and it'll still last for years doing that. Alright. Get us a couple of these little containers out. Okay. Up first, snow. Now, in this particular session, I really want to find snow, and I've had people say, oh, you can't, you can't use baking soda. It'll turn yellow. Well, I'm here to tell you, after doing this for, I've forgotten how many years now, <laughs> this will not turn yellow. 
I promise you. I've, there's some models out there that I've done this way that have been done for 15 years now, and they still look like the day I did them. The only issue you do have is dust. If you're one of those people that likes to put your models on a shelf and leave them there forever, mm -hmm, you're going to have a dust problem. Okay. Um, I have no clue how much baking soda we just put in there. So, because I was asked to do this, let's just measure it out. I think that's about a teaspoon. Yeah. Good, hearty teaspoon. All right. Well, let's get us a good, hearty teaspoon of the uh, old glue here. Okay. This this is not a perfect science. Um, the glue is here as a bonding agent. Uh, it helps this substance stay together. Next up. Uh, we're basically making a pound cake here. White paint. I've never used this paint before. I uh, know nothing about it. But from what I can see, it comes out like toothpaste. It's kind of thick. Um, we might actually add some water to this. That would be funny. You know what's bad? I think I could still probably paint better with this paint than some people can with Citadel. Just throwing that out there. Alright, let's mix it up and see what our texture ends up looking like. If we want more texture, we'll add more baking soda. Mm. It's, it's, it's close. Like I said, normally I like doing this in a bag, but it is what it is. Now another thing we can do is I have white sand. If we want like a, uh, a little bit rougher looking snow, we can use this. But I think instead, we're just going to add some more baking soda. Grab another spoon. So that way we can actually create a formula, because that is what we were asked for, was a formula. And considering I just kind of wing it all the time, oh, that, that texture looks about right. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible, I know. God, writing down formulas, I totally guess. Alright. Well... Say two really thick teaspoons. We might even sweep up that and throw it in here too. <coughs> if you get your mixture wrong, the worst thing that could happen is it be too runny. And if you get it wrong, the best thing that could happen is that it be too thick because then all you have to do is add a little more glue or add a little more paint. Um, you could even add water to this. Okay, that's, that's looking pretty good. It's still a little thin for what I like, but it's gonna have some texture to it when it dries. And that texture is what we really want. Yeah, let's go ahead and 
sweep up this baking soda and throw it in there too, because why not? Uh, get a piece of paper. I've seen people use pepper. Um, salt will not work. Okay, I think we're really at the place we want to be. If I had to describe the consistency, it's cake icing, I think is the best way to put this. This, this would be very comparable to cake icing. Now this one's done, and that's our snow texture. Um, just for the sake of doing it, let's throw a little bit on a base. Let's get our fingers dirty. Just take some, and in this situation I'm just going to put it on the back of the spoon. And just dab it on there, drag it around. Anywhere you want it to be thicker, put it a little thicker. spikes. Now that texture will settle some. Don't worry too much about it. If you're wanting a more realistic snow you can definitely smooth it down and lay it flat. A product that I currently have been using a little bit for snow because um, I'm still using this paste but one of the things I've been doing is after I apply the snow, I've been just sprinkling the world's smallest amount of this Army Painter snow on there. Uh, I find if you go too much, it ends up looking like a beach. If you do like just a little tiny sprinkle though, it gives it a little bit more texture and it looks like snow, which is what we're going for. <laughs> Okay, so there is snow. Next, we're going to move on to earth. And we're going to go with a darker brown earth, henceforth why we have the black and brown paint. Okay, for round two, we have some sand. The sand did come from the Dollar Tree, but I would totally suggest just going outside and getting some from somewhere. <laughs> Pull it out of your gutter. I mean, get it from a ditch, go to the beach, wherever you want to go. We're going to, well, I guess I should measure it. She wants a measurement. Um... using a teaspoon because it's probably the most common form of measurement there is. This is a heavy grit sand. Not particularly my favorite. I prefer a little bit finer sand. We're going to say about a teaspoon and a half sand. And uh, I got wise. Paused for a second and put some baking soda in a spoon. Now, we are going to put baking soda in this one, too. So, good fat spoonful. Okay. Yeah. Stand up, spoon. Elmer's glue or craft glue. You can use anything you want. I actually do like Mod Podge, but I would not suggest Mod Podge for this, just for the simple fact that 
Mod Podge is very glossy in color. Got us about one tablespoonish of glue. Now, you don't have to have as much glue as you do anything else. And if this comes out thin, because we're going to want this one a little bit drier than that one. Okay. Now a little brown paint. And at this point, it's going to be playing with it until we get the color we want. I don't know if you noticed, but I actually used white sand. One of the reasons I did use white sand is because I like it to look like the dirt has a little bit of quartz in it. So one tablespoon of brown, a little over half a tablespoon of black, because we want to darken up the color a little bit. We might have to add a little more paint to this batch to get the color that we want but we're just going to sit here and mix it until we get that nice earth tone that we're looking for it uh it sounds like a cement mixer <laughs> i like in the darkness i'm i'm thinking the color is about where i want it it, it looks, I don't know how it looks on camera, but in person it's looking pretty good. It's very gritty, and it is a little runny, but for our purposes, when the paint and the glue dry up, it will shrink. Looks like I missed some in the bottom. Do make sure you mix it up well. Um, it's going to shrink. And when it shrinks, all that's going to be left behind is the texture. Alrighty. So, like we did with the snow, let's take us a little base here. Take our finger and rub the edge off. Okay, it's a nice textured base. It's ready to go. Um, I would like for this to be a little thicker. <coughs> so for me, I'm going to add an extra tablespoon here of the baking soda. And then that's going to thicken it right up to the point where I like it, I believe. Oh yeah, that did it. We're, we're, we're cooking with some bacon grease now. That even looks like mud. <laughs> like I said, the, the camera messes with the color a little bit, but this this looks like mud. It, it looks like dirt supposed to look. When it dries up, it looks better. It looks so good that I'm gonna take this base and wipe it off and do it again. <laughs> there we go. Alright, not bad considering we're using a spoon. Just wipe off the edge a little bit. 
when this dries up it's going to look amazing and it will not look like it does currently all right i believe that's going to be the next episode the next episode i'm about to start is going to be utilizing these two products and some cork this is a piece of sheet cork you can buy it at the dollar tree i just ripped a chunk of it off just to do this project y'all have a great day